This is Life Rewired, the Brain Injury Podcast, for survivors, by survivors. And now your host, Rob and Ashley. Hi, I'm Rob. And I'm Ashley. And this is Life Rewired. Ashley, how's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, not too bad. We actually recorded this on the same day as the last podcast, so we do have a different change of clothing, but I thought I'd show that out there so well, maybe I should have told people then but they go, oh, those poor people that don't can't afford clothing. Let's send them some donations and <laughs> support their cause. <laughs> I had to start off with something funny because today's topic is about negativity. And the reason we wanted to talk about this is behind the scenes in recent days, we had somebody that we won't name names, but they started a whole poo show i should say was that a nice way to put it <laughs> yes i think that's but what we found is that it it ended up sucking so many people into the conversation and it just got bigger and escalated and at the end of the day you can't fix everybody am i right Very some true. Some people go their entire life with a negative attitude. And I don't know if it's maybe that the people that are in their life enable it. I have to believe that's probably part of it. Wouldn't you think so? I mean, it could be, or they've just pushed so many people away by their negativity that they're trying to look for any type of person that will listen and allow the negativity. Yeah, that's true. And we're not just talking about like occasional negativity. We're just talking about every single conversation mm -hmm. being negative and you're not allowed to give any feedback whatsoever. Right. And the, the person was baiting people. Do you feel that that's a fair assessment? Um. I feel like they were trying to see like who would respond. And then even when somebody responded, they didn't like what they had to say. And mm -hmm. we're all part of like a support network. So that's kind of the purpose of it. It's not a group where it's like, let's just complain about everything here. So I have an audience, but you're not supposed to respond back to me. It's just you know, it, it more of like an airing of grievances type of right. thing. And that's really not what, you know, this is meant to be. Exactly. The thing is, when you're in a support group, you're going to hear all kinds of comments, positive, negative. A support group is a safe place. And it should be a place where you can say, gosh, my uncle's brother's cousin's sister is just so mean to me and blah, 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 blah. And I just feel horrible about it. You know, some complaining is fine, but as a support group, we're there to lift each other up and say, you should never have been treated that way. You know, things like that, of that nature. But this person, I think they were looking for someone to argue with them. Just an observation on my part, and you might have a totally different opinion than I do, but that's the way I was seeing it. I don't know if it was so much ar arguing, even though like I was on the outs of this, like I wasn't really firsthand involved. It almost seems like they wanted to be right. And we're yeah. going to try to prove to you why I'm right about, you know, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, and then if something offended them, that you would say back, then it became a personal attack on that person. That person was bad. Yeah. And then yeah. if God forbid you stepped in to defend the person they were attacking, then you became bad. Yes. So it just kind of became a domino effect. And I mm -hmm. felt like it was becoming very toxic. Yes. So that's kind of where you and me, you know, spoke and decided it would be for the best to you know, not have this, you know, person in the group. Yeah. 
And we feel a little bit better about that because the person we're referring to has been booted from several groups. So it's not like we just said, no, we just don't like you. You can't be a part of our group. You know, it wasn't a, a decision that we came to lightly. We, we tried our very best to give it every, everything we could to, to keep the person in the group. There was no helping the situation at the end of the day. We had multiple people's perspectives on this. And then if you're bashing other people in the group, that creates, you know, a very mm -hmm. unsafe environment. And that's something I have a zero tolerance policy about. And once we realize this person cannot be reasoned with, you know, unfortunately, you know, we did have to take action, but you're right. Yeah. It, it, tr I guess she, this person is a member of multiple groups and those people ended up taking the exact same action uh, mm -hmm. we did. Um, not really sure that a support group is, you know, right for this person. Um, I don't know what type of group would be where you can just, you know, act like that and not get a response. So the thing is with this person, um, even if you tried to give them positive feedback, it was like, they didn't want that. They did not want that. You were fought. If you said anything positive to them, they wanted you to come down to their level, so to speak. And that's where the, the big problems was coming in. We actually had people in our support group that was private messaging me and saying, <clears throat> sorry, people that were in the private group messaging me saying, can you do something about this? And it was becoming very toxic, not just for the people involved, but for people outside watching it. Mm -hmm. So that's why we wanted to do a discussion about negativity. Right. Yeah. Because I mean, I've been very negative in this journey. I'm not going to lie about that. But um, I mean, you ask for people's support and you want to move on from the negative negativity. You don't want to dwell in that negativity because then your whole life becomes negative. Mm -hmm. And this was more of a misery loves company kind of yes. situation. And yeah, I mean, we all have our individual experiences. Some of us have had trauma from before the TBI and there's a concept called vicarious trauma where you take on other people's trauma. And mm. that's something else that I didn't want to happen. This person seemed to have a big, you know, trauma history and, you know, as unfortunate that that is, you know, at some point you got to just set that boundary of, you know, it's, not helping the other people. I, if anything, I felt like it was probably, you know, harming our fellow members in their journey. I felt that. Of recovery. Yeah. 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 So hopefully that'll be the one only time we ever have to make that. It kills me because I don't like, I'm not a person that likes to exclude anybody from anything. I'm an occluder. Mm -hmm. So that, that really, that took a toll on me, but I do feel better now because of the other people that said, thank you so much for taking this person out of the group. <laughs> it got to the point where people weren't wanting to share their true emotions. Right. Yeah. And that, that breaks down a, a support group. Now have anybody heard from this person since this all happened? Um, immediately after it happened, the person went into other support groups Mm -hmm. Um, without going into a lot of detail, I'll just, I'll just say this, the person was bashing myself, which is whatever, but they were also bashing two other people from my group mm -hmm. and was misquoting them. Mm -hmm. And I had the foresight, I guess that's the right word to take screenshots of everything before I booted the person out of the group mm -hmm. and they were twisting everyone's words. Of course, when you're that kind of a person, you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. So I just said, Hey, if you're going to quote us, do it verbatim. 
Mm-hmm. Don't twist my words. And if you need a refresher, I have the screenshots. Well, it was probably within the hour whenever the person saw it. All of that got deleted. And nothing else has been said since. So, but yeah, you don't, you don't mess with my people. My people are my people. <laughs> are they still a member of any of the support groups you're in? One. Okay. Yeah, the, the said person was in five other groups that I'm in. What's that say about me? <laughs> but yeah, they're only in one now. Okay. So fair And how's their behavior been in that group? Um, so far, so good. But I have seen some of the nobody understands me comments. I'm just going to generalize it. I'm not going to quote what the person right. said. But basically, in a nutshell, no one no one gets me that, mm-hmm. okay, say something. Say something yeah. to say, I don't get you, but don't say anything to help me. Right. So I, I'm waiting for it. It'll happen, but it's just a matter of time. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. And I do, I do hope this person gets better. And I'm not saying this with malice to that person. I do wish, I want everyone to get better. I want everyone to heal. And to move on from the traumas because it's not fun. I've I've got a backyard full of traumas that mm-hmm. matter of fact I wrote a book about it, but I don't wish that on anybody. I want everyone right. to be happy and to be healed. So I, I do wish this person the best. I really do. But no, I agree with you. I definitely hope this person can find, you know, some healing and some positivity moving forward in their life. Yeah. Yeah. And I know, you know, that might take a while, but I, I really do hope for the best for everybody. Yeah. It's like drinking or smoking or anything else that's a bad habit. You have to want to to get better. And when right. that person gets to that point, and I think that eventually, I, I pray eventually that this person will, when they are ready and are, are open to that, feedback then i think that they will the healing will be be, begin but i think it's just going to take some time right yeah so that's all i have yes because on that positive note it started thunderstorming here i don't know if you could hear that i heard it (laughs) and it's getting dark here too are you sending storms my way i must be (laughs) well anyway don't forget to like subscribe and share i'm ashley And I'm Rob, and this is Life Rewired. See you next time. Bye.